Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Stu Stone. They are the members of the family Stone, the giant Othello, and the self-proclaimed real scrap daddy, James Morgan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, big time tag team grudge match set to happen right now here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood as the family Stone makes their way to the ring. James Morgan and the big man, Othello. Oh, yeah, cinch him up. Been waiting for this one. Whole lot of personal issues to be settled here ever since the return of Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. He's been wanting to get his hands on James Morgan. Of course, you got Othello in there and Mikey O'Shea in the mix, too. This one's going to be explosive, and we've been joined, regretfully so, by Mortimer Lipschitz. The pleasure is mine. Tom. And their opponents, introducing first, from Charlestown, Massachusetts, weighing 325 pounds, Mikey O'Shea and his partner from San Diego, California, weighing 241 three quarter pounds, the Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce. So great to see Scrap Iron Adam Pierce back in the house. But he got that one-on-one -on -one matchup, Jeff, with James Morgan, did not get the revenge, the victory he wanted, disqualification victory. Then, of course, the family stone was on the attack. It looked like he was about to put him away, of course, as you noted, until the family stone made their presence felt. And I'll tell you what, Adam Pierce is fired up. And he's got a big time wrecking ball with him there, Morty. Did you count on Mikey O'Shea getting involved in this whole situation? Doesn't matter, the new Scrap Daddy is right there, guys, right there in that gorgeous red and black robe. You the mean the imposter, the imposter. He is not, he's the real Scrap Daddy. And James Morgan's nothing but an imposter. He's a phony, he's a fraud, he's a fake. I could go on and on. Cheap imitation, knockoff robe. That cost me big bucks. You overpaid. I never overpay. It's gonna be really hard for us here, Jeff, to really call the action because I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm trying to stare through the massive back of this monstrous Othello. It makes a better door than a window. Othello's size, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely unbelievable. And that's why you have to be here in person to see this action live. That guy, can he ever move for a big man, speaking of Othello, but it's gonna be Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, James Morgan, just like our fans wanted to kick it off, these two go at it toe-to-toe -to, -toe to kick off this tag team matchup. Stu Stone is right there at ringside as always, and I'm sure he'll make sure the right team wins this match. And now, Pierce and Morgan face to face. So much hatred, so much animosity. And we're gonna see it all explode tonight. Yep, from nose to nose, and now these two will go toe to toe, or at least they would have, but an act of cowardice there by the so-called real Scrap Daddy, the new Scrap Daddy tags in the big man. And that's quite the tree to chop down, TK. Well, just, I, I, I could say cowardice, but it could also be mind games there by James Morgan and the Family Stone. Talk about your strategy session leading into this match, Morty. I'll tell you one thing, Adam Pierce is a big man. I'm gonna give him credit, he's big, he's talented. But next to Othello, he looks like a mouse, a midget. Is that Sky Lolo reincarnated? Well, you ever hear the story about the, uh, the mouse and the elephant? No, I miss that one. All right, well, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce never met a fight that he doesn't like. He will not back down. And he might not have to. All right. Here comes the man himself, the wrecking machine, Mikey O'Shea. And he said that he's not afraid of Othello. Yeah, he might, he might implode that big skyscraper and knock him down to his foundation. These two monsters, eye to eye. Well, as close to eye to eye as you can be with Othello, anyway. And Mikey O'Shea is a man who has no fear, TK. 
There is no man in championship wrestling from Hollywood that intimidates Mike Yoshe one bit. He won't be bullied. And he's, he has stood up to the family stone on a number of occasions. It's so great. This is a huge opportunity for him to tag with the likes of a multiple time world heavyweight champion in Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. Oh, look at the reversal there. Thought he was gonna chop that big tree down. Oh, oh my, goodness. my goodness! Get out of town! Look at that kip up for a big man. Holy cow! You gotta be kidding me. This guy is an absolute phenomenon. I've never seen anybody his size move like that. I'll tell you, I don't know if Othello oh. knows how good he is. I mean, I just think he's going to keep getting better and better and more devastating. On that striker, has said on occasion that, that Stu Stone doesn't know what he has in his stable. I'll tell you what, Mikey O'Shea's got a big belly-to-belly -belly throw in his arsenal. Took Morgan up and over, and he has rebounded here. Oh, it just gonna serve him up on a silver platter, but look at that snake in the grass, slithers away again. He is not slithering, taking a moment to catch his breath and playing some strategy, TK. Strategy. Hey, call, call it like it is, Morty. He's a coward, he's afraid. Well, you'll remember last time these guys were all over the Ocean View Pavilion. Oh, what a right hand there by a scrap iron Adam Pierce, who's got the pedal to the metal now. What a shot. Hear that one 10 miles away, TK. Oh, and that's gonna glare on the uh, fair complexion there of James Morgan. I think he's about to look like one of those old Andre the Giant t-shirts with a big red handprint. Oh! Uh oh! oh. Pierce runs right into that massive, and I mean massive, clothesline. And think of the history and neck problems by Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, Jeff. That's right. That neck injury almost ended his career. We thought he was done for. And of course, he made a miraculous recovery back in action here on Championship Wrestling. Yeah, I kept hearing about that one last ride. Well, that might have been it right there. And you can see James Morgan going to work on that arm, that shoulder, setting him up for that cross face chicken wing, TK. Absolutely. He's got a big target on it. Got him all tied up here, has both arms seized. Got him in a, basically a double arm chicken wing right now. He does, and looks, oh. look at this, rolls through, adding all that more torque. I mean, and, and if you're Pierce, unless you can get to your knees, which is only gonna apply more pressure, what do you do to, at this point to get out of there? That's what you do, TK. You call on the wrecking machine, who's had Pierce's back in recent weeks and pays off there. Well, of course, Mikey O'Shea, you know, before he had pierced his back and assisted him. Oh! O'Shea had problems with the family stone himself. Sure did, I'll tell you, man. Those chops by Pierce tonight just sounds like a cannon going off. And here he comes, the master of the heart punch. Oh! And this is not where you want to be with that big man. In the corner, there is nowhere to go but down. It's been a different matchup every time Othello's been in that ring. That's for sure, Morty, I'll give you that much. He's big, he's tough, maybe not the most experienced wrestling you'll see out there. It doesn't matter when you're that big and that tough, you take your opponents down. Yeah, it doesn't have to be pretty. It is effective and everything he does hurts. Into the cover now. And if, I'll tell you what, Jeff, if James Morgan somehow gets Pierce to submit to the crossface chicken wing or gets a pitfall victory, we will never hear the end of it. No, we will not. The ego of James Morgan is already enormous. It will, I don't even think it would be able to fit in the Ocean View Pavilion here. They might need to make some renovations. Now Stu Stone getting his two cents in. Well, Stu Stone loves his camera time. Yeah, phantom tag made there. Othello checks back in, and that does not bode well for Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, who finds himself right back in the corner here. What phantom tag are you talking about? I saw it. I got glasses. I see real good. I want to check your prescription. Either way, the damage being done at this point, Jeff. Othello paying dividends for the family Stone. And look at this. Stone himself, Stu Stone interfering. Well, I'll tell you what, Stu Stone has no respect for anybody. 
countless times we've heard you refer to James Morgan as the scum of the earth, Jeff. I, I think uh, it'd be a close competition between he and Stu. Well, that's why they're best friends. Do you ever gonna say anything nice about these guys, Mr. Resnick? I have nothing nice to say about James Morgan, about Stu Stone. Well, we've enjoyed having him on commentary. Well, at times. Speak for yourself. Morgan with the front face lock as Pierce tries to bull rush his way. Makes the tag, but I do not believe that the official saw it, and that does seem to be the case now. Referee got it right this time, didn't he? Oh! Now the, now the double team from the family Stone. And what a partner that Othello is, huh? To have in your corner. Yeah, that's a, that's a big time insurance policy to be sure. And, and although we thought Othello, you know, would be more of a lone wolf, he's really proven to be a good partner here, making frequent tags, getting in there, doing the damage, but still. Well, Stu Stone pays him a heck of a lot of money, TK. I'm sure he does. In fact, how oh, much Excuse does me, he? I pay them, and they're a well-oiled tag machine. Can't you see that? Well, thus far, but hard to contend with the heart of the former champion, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce will fight with every ounce of energy, sweat, and blood in his body. Oh, he is as tough as they come. Look at this, rolls him up just to create distance. Looking for that lariat, can't hit it though. Nice reversal there, now back for oh. Pierce, and catches a low blow. Give me a break. Well, that's the, that's the MO of James Morgan, TK. That's what we've come to expect from this piece of garbage. We're not watching the same match. What do you see that I'm Wait missing? Wait a second, he's got Nux, he's got Nux! Oh, wow. Wide open shot there with that foreign object. Uh, don't tell me he's gonna beat him this way. Here's the cover now. Oh, Pierce has enough left. Digs down deep and kicks out. But you gotta think that he has got some major, major cobwebs at this point. I would imagine Adam Pierce is on Dream Street right now. But let's give Mr. Pearson credit. He's hanging in there, I will give him credit. He's doing the best he can. Morgan trying to go. High impact here to put him away. Whoa, looking for a senton. I don't think I've ever seen that out of Morgan before. He's usually more of a flightless bird. You might never see it again. I don't think that felt too good. Uh. Well, Stu likes to say it so much, so I might say it for him. No water in the pool on that one. Pierce has got to get to his corner. Tagging O'Shea, who's ready to oh. do a variety of damage. And here comes the wrecking machine, and he is fresh. O'Shea has been chomping at the bit. Look at this, leaves his feet. Big time spine buster. Uh-oh, but watch out, big shadow looming. And O'Shea up to the tasso, now firing up on Othello, but can he get this monster off his feet? Yes, oh. he can! Wow! You like a bull that. charge right at him. You won't see that very often, ever, ever. We've seen Othello teeter, rock, and reel, but we've never seen him just absolutely flat back like that. Wow, impressive. And it's clear what Mike Yoshe's role in this matchup. It's to allow James, it's allowed to Adam Pierce to get James Morgan one-on-one. -on -one. Well, that door has been open. Morgan better turn around. Uh-oh. <laughs> Pierce unloading on Morgan. Sure is, look at this, Pierce. High elevation backdrop there, just turning. And this imposter inside out. This is what all the fans want to see. Heck, TK, this is what I want to see. I don't want to see it. Oh, wow, what a thumb to the eye there by Morgan. Taking the low road, taking the shortcut. No surprise. Oh, oh the agility by Pierce. Wait a second, Stone threw a hammer in the ring. Morgan's got it. Oh, oh. Pierce just got absolutely blindsided. Oh, he could have absolutely shattered his face with that into the cover. Disgusting display. Whatever happened to all fair and love and wrestling, oh, huh? The, the, bell, know, the bell would ring. Ladies and Stone, gentlemen, your winners of the match, Stone, Stone, the Stone team hammer. of James Morgan and Othello. What highway robbery that was, TK. James Morgan literally cracked Adam Pierce over the head with that hammer. He could end a man's career that way. I think that's his MO. I think that's his game plan.
more just blatant disrespect. And earlier, he had hit him with that roll of quarters. That wasn't enough. Then a hammer shot. And again, yeah, you talked about robbery robbing. Scrap iron out of Pierce of his revenge. And as you touched on, and I certainly hope it isn't the case, just might rob this great veteran of his career. Bottom line question, whose hands were just raised? Shut up, Morty. <laughs>